okay so here it is f http ftp and nfs i will tell cafs i am not telling cfs i will tell uh, about a cfs uh, but explanation i will give you but services only nfs i will show you if you want uh, really want uh, cfs nfs kind of stuff uh, means cfs i will tell how to do it and also i will tell uh, a lamp server what is lamp server importance of lamp server guys this is a again same thing line x1 line x2 same diagram so no no difference in it so first pc and line x second pc again same ip address 192.168.0.128 it is a cts15 l1 okay and here it is 192.168.0. Um, 114 IP address local host 1 because I changed that I name is like that. Okay, guys, this is NFS service. NFS, I'm explaining NFS service. One more is there, SCP is there. Win SCP, I will give you the video, then you can watch it because it's a 10 minutes only. Because 10 minutes, we'll see that one. NFS. SCP, CAFS. Guys, these are all, these are all services is like this. I have a directory. I have a directory. Inside a directory, I have a files. You have one, you have two, like this. I have a files. And in other system, I have a directory. And I mount this directory from here to here through network whenever i put a data here the data will come to this i put a data here f3 then f3 comes here also it continuous synchronization mode means what are the data here the same data is maintained here so this in this folder data is there the same data is in here Okay, in this folder, continuously we can able to synchronize by using NFS and CFS, not having SCP, not SCP, okay. SC for transfer the files, okay. That is the thing, okay. So NFS, through NFS, you can able to do it. What is NFS? From one Linux machine to another Linux machine. It is like a, you are shared a file folder. It is like a, you shared a directory and the shared directory is mounted to the directory in the other machine. You put a data here, you can access the data from here. This is best for backups kind of stuff. In a Windows 10, I showed mounting shared folders do you remember mounting shared folder how to share the folder how to mount the shared folders same concept only that's why i took a more time in windows 10 also okay so this is a nfs concept it's like a share folders or directories or a file concept is two important is there one is nfs and cafs NFS is meaning is network file system. CFS is a common internet file system. Common internet file system. So why I am not getting any messages and all? Today is a Wednesday, right? Yes, sir. Uh, usually we have a meeting. Uh, no, ball, no blinking, nothing. <laughs> Tomorrow may be there. Common internet file system. CAFS 
is also called as Samba Samba file system and there is another name SMB shape usually NFS is like a Linux to Linux CFS is Linux to Linux Linux to Windows some people said SMB share means it's a Windows sharing kind of stuff. Still, there are a lot of services changing, changing, changing. Earlier days, Windows means Windows environment. Linux means Linux. Both are don't have any relationship. Later, just a few relationships came up, like a SMB share kind of stuff. Means CAFS, like you can share the data from Windows to Linux. You can share the data from Windows to Linux using Samba file system. It is a very good thing. So very useful in a printer sharing. Printer sharing with a, uh, like a, we use for a printer sharing, data sharing, kind of stuff. From Windows to Linux, Linux to Windows sharing using CFS. Okay. SMB server message block. SMB server message block. So this is about your CFS. Yes, I am not doing that one. OK, if you want, we can try in whenever you have a when we and are having a free time or you can already I told. So what I have told. Go to CFS or Samba configuration in the same OS. OK, go to Tech Mint. This also OK, but other sites also OK, but I prefer Tech Mint. Like this. So if you share it and you want to access from Windows also you can able to access from Windows system. OK. Like this. Lot of settings you have to do it. Sometimes if it may not work like this you can get it like this. See. OK, lot of things to do it. Uh, it is not a correct time. So I thought OK. But we'll go to the NFS how to do NFS. You have to install NFS, okay, and also firewall kind of stuff in a both the machines. And one machine machine must required NFS client. So when to do NFS, this machine must have NFS client. This is NFS server. NFS server. Okay. So there is a different services are there guys. It is always best practice. If you are using a, a backup um, kind of stuff like this. OK, if you are using a Butler backup support uh, when you are doing so see it is server IP address client IP address. Look at same thing I've written server IP address and a client IP address like a you have to draw plan and install. It is very easy. So it is apt get means if you are using Ubuntu, this is if you are using sent OS or I, uh, Red Hat, this kind of stuff. So first of all installation in my main machine. In a first machine, I'm installing yum install no, no, no. M info NFS star. So is a package is already installed, not installed. See, it is different type of NFS. NFS test, NFS ometer, NFS ACL tools, okay, NFS utils, NFS installed. Is utils are installed, but available package is installed. It means Maybe there is a small version difference may be there. A small version difference is there. That's the only update. OK. So again, I'm installing. Yam install. NFS. NFS. Utils. 
So better, I will check once. You can copy paste also. It is space live. Lives are live. Live. Installing. No package available, nothing to do. What happening? <laughs> yeah, it is uh, kind of updating. OK, yes, I install NFS utils. Yum install. NFS utils. OK, you can use like a client kind of stuff on. Both machines. On both the machines means. OK. Uh, what happened? No, 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 no. So here it is. No, 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 not like this. It is uh, Linux one. IP address is this one. OK, uh, the name is CTS. 15. L1. OK, this is the IP address. Remove this thing. Linux 2. OK, so if you don't install in a Linux 2 kind of stuff, uh, actually no problem. OK. But we are doing for uh, our for our time, so then it is better always install. Okay. So this is the client mm -hmm. and this is the server. So this is my NFS server. This is my NFS client. So on both system better to install NFS utils. So I'm going to this. OK. So look at here it is. Um, in second system also I'm installing. Lot of dependencies. <laughs> okay, the both side it is installed. Uh, if services again first system go to services system CTL status NFS service is there. There's something it is showing. Start the service. Yeah, so services started. Check the services completed. Same thing. Go to here in another system also. Same thing. System CTL start service called uh, NFS service and check the status. And enable is also there now. System CTL enable NFS for a boot time. Okay, enable. Check the status. It is enabled. And same here. It is also system CTL enable NFS and check the status. It is enabled. So in a boss system. Installation, you should done. CTL start NFS service system CTL enable NFS system CTL system CTL status. That's it. Next one is configuration part. We'll see that one. Guys, here it is in a fast system in Linux one. In Linux one, I'm creating a directory mkdir nfs uh, means 
any name you can put it nfs data one or share one which one you put it Uh, NFS data one. So what uh, what are the name it is? I creating a directory on it, okay? And I also how to create a full access permission. Seven 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 slash NFS data one. What is seven seven seven? Anybody giving full permissions? Okay. So go to first machine. Very simple. Um, uh, MKDAR slash NFS data one created. So LS hyphen LD slash NFS data one C. Group people, some people cannot, other people cannot also access. So what I'm doing is I'm giving CH mod hyphen Kepler to give permission to everyone. It is given permission to everyone. Anybody can able to store the data in it. Completed in a server side. It is I created a directory. The directory name is slash NFS data one. Okay. Now in the server side only. In the server side only, you have to share it. Okay. You have to share it. How to do it? You have to use export. You have to use the export kind of stuff. I will show you that. Can you see this is exports? In the exports, you have to mention your information. Okay, so here it is in a server side. The server I'm doing VS space slash etc slash exports. Export. So it is like a VA editor only exports. So which one? What are the directories you are sharing? You have to tell it. Okay. So one by one you can specify to whom you are sharing. You can specify for only single person only can able to access like a single IP address wise. You can do it or you can use network wise. Also you can use it. You want to make everybody can able to access. Everyone can able to access the star. Like this, you can do it. People can able to read only. Read and write kind of stuff. I'm giving read and write permissions. S Y N C sync and other few settings we can able to mention. If you mention like this, meaning is anyone in the network can able to access. Anyone can able to access network irrespective of what IP address it is. If you are giving like this, only the system who are having 114 IP address, only that system from that system only you can able to access. Okay, you can give like this network means anyone in the same network can able to access. So any which ways you can give like this star. Otherwise, IP address. Any which ways you can able to give guys. No problem here. Exports are completed. So once export is completed, you have to show see whether your export is done or not. So go to show mod iPhone E. Export list for a nothing is showing. So what to do? System CTL restart your NFS service. It is now it is showing. See, understand importance of restart services. So this is how to share it. So first of all, in your machine only. So in your your in a Linux only. So S ports.
like this. Okay, so I exported shared successfully. Guys, what is after sharing? Create some data uh, to know it whether it is shared or not, right? So I'm creating some file inside cat greater um, under slash NFS. Okay, no, no, no. I'm creating um, n file one. So this is uh, n file one from uh, from uh, 128 PC. Okay, so completed. So you can try by checking. Uh, just and go to client side. Now it is the client side. Okay, so server side can done. Um, server side done. Server side is done. Now client side. Okay, client side you can use any account or you can use root account also. Okay, uh, any account you can use it, right? So, but I'm using root. This is the client side. This is my client. Okay, so why guy three is there? No, not required. So here service is installed and service is running. Uh, we are going going mkdir slash uh, nfs. There I shared as a data one. I put different name uh, uh, nfs uh, um, uh, data one there. Share one or a data two client. D client one so nfs like that. Uh. <laughs> Exactly. So heat is also more in in the Vishakhapatnam. So a lot of heat. Okay. Um, NFS. Uh, you tell me something like share one. I put a share one from client side. Okay. Created a directory. Now mount hyphen t hyphen t NFS. Why hyphen t? NFS is the file system. NFS is the file system I'm using. Okay, so NFS is the file system. Now, uh, where is your remote system? Where, where is your uh, um, file? Okay, so root at the rate 192.168.0.128 your server colon slash NFS data one. Where you want to mount? NFS share one. Oh, there is a problem. Mount NFS failed resolve NFS service name. So why I am not able to? There is a possibility of firewall in my server. Right. How to change firewall? Guys, you are uh, not helping. Reload. List all. Want to list. Try again. So something we are missing there. So I remove the root and I'm waiting. Yeah, that is another mistake. So in a client side, the so DF space I can H. Can you see? It is mounted. It is mounted. It is mounted. And also you can see. LS space slash NFS share. See, N file one is there. You want to read it? Also, you can read it. 
عندك كاك there is a file you want to put something inside cat getter last nfs share so n file 1 2 1 1 so this is um n file 1 1 from from uh 1 1 4 pc okay see i created a file in that one so you can uh, check it from your first PC, like the data in this one, see, and file one one is created. Vitesse is always uh, do firewall also in the server. It's also in the server. Now line X to one second guys, I'm getting a call, but Tell me what is the issue first. What is it? Not required. Not required. Okay. First, uh, do the normal services normally. My uh, another credit card not yet activated. A call in afternoon. It is saying the people are saying it is activated, and still it is not activated. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, the last part one uh, is um, client side, right? So, what is the client side? What I've done? Yeah, it is uh, client side. I created a directory and I try to mount it and verify the mounting and then, right? So, yeah. Okay, so this is the correct one, right? It happens. The last one is this one. Just for a uh, for output, I keeping that one. So. Guys, understand NFS, how to mount, or you want to mount uh, any other thing, like uh, you want to share some folder and uh, mount. So remaining is same, services, NFS, like this. You, you can share multiple folders, like I, I'm sharing in a server, like in a Linux one, means in 128 PC, NFS, data two. Okay, so I will mount Linux in a 2114 PC NFS share 2. I'll mount here. Okay, I will share this one. I'll mount here. Uh, this is NFS share 1. Okay. So this is the practical picture, but now guys, you tell me, this is my server side, what to do, how to share. Please tell me, then I will finish up. Anyone, please, how to share. First of all, you have to create directory.
Eleven members. Ten members are there. Okay, uh, I I speak myself and I will do myself no problem. Okay, so what can you so I'm also exhausted as uh, so you people are not understanding that one. MKDAR. So I created directory now. Again, vi is place slash utc slash exports. Press I. So go to the next line. Go to this one also. NFS data to and you can share the particular IP address also no problem means only one user can able to access you can give read and write or have only read only permission RO means read only now show mount hyphen e it is showing uh, only one so you have to system CTL restart the service FS. So now see both are showing. So it is shared to everyone. It is shared to only one user. Your side is completed, but if you want to put a, any files inside, you can put it like a cat double or greater. Okay, so NFS data to okay. N2 F1. So this is from 128 PC. So ls nfs data 2. So there is a file. And in a client side, go to the client side. So you have to mount it, right? So again, show mount hyphen e 192.168.0.128. So it is showing RPC failure kind of stuff, unable to service kind of stuff, no problem. Okay, it's still not working, no problem. So we don't mind about that one. Important is you have to create a directory, mkdir, okay, slash nfs, here to, I created a directory. Okay, there, there is a problem will occurs for that one, uh, we'll see. Bond I can T uh, NFS file system okay uh, and uh, 192.168.0.128 colon slash NFS data one so where you want to come NFS share two sorry uh, there is a mistake it's two right you have to mount NFS data two to this yeah it is showing mounted so df space hyphen h it is mounted. Okay, ls space slash nfs share to. So file is sharing. You want to read the file nfs to. Uh, sorry, uh, it is file. You can able to read the data, but you want to put some data inside like this. Permission denied. Why permission denied? The server, the server on NFS data to I didn't given write permission to other users. Write permission to other users. Okay, so you have to change ch mod o plus w or g plus w v o plus w. Right, in any way you can give. <laughs> okay, so just for fun, I'm giving and verifying. Now I'm giving. So in a client side again, try. Yeah, now you can able to create this is uh, from one one four PC control D. Okay. So I uploaded a file. Just look at ls nfs data two. This is second file is also came. So this is your total nfs configuration that's it